Good morning, beautiful. Today we are, as usual, pulling a message in the October edition from the Halloween Oracle by St Stacy DeMarco. I don't know why I always call her Stephanie DeMarco. <laughs> Stacy DeMarco. Um, I'm gonna be reading the full message from the booklet. Guys, this is a reading that's available for all signs whenever you watch it, and it has the intention to connect us to the Halloween spirit. So let's see what's the message for today. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe right now. Ooh, okay. The message for today is spider, community, and web weaving. It's a very beautiful looking spider that I would never want to run into. <laughs> I'm not a fan of spiders, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read the message for you. Let's see... Okay. She pins her silk alone in the dark with hope of collection, sticky with dreams weaving the world a wide web of connection. Masses of sticky spider webs make any Halloween decoration complete. The idea of a ha haunted house covered in the outwork of artwork of a big hairy spider is classic horror. Even those of us who appreciate our eight-legged friends still hurriedly brush off those stealthy webs if we run into them in the dark. Although most spiders are not venomous, humans have an innate fear of them. Perhaps it's the fangs or the poison. Perhaps it's all those legs and the way they move. Perhaps it's where they live, often in the dark, hidden places, or the way our Western popular culture has demonized them by making them giant, fierce, and man-eating. Some cultures, though, revere the spider in very positive ways. In many Native American traditions, for example, the spider is the creature that gives birth to all other animals and sustains the way of life. Oh, I didn't know that. The goddess spider grandmother and there is also a spider woman, is a key deity that brings wisdom, safety, and communication to all the tribes. She created and wove all the stars in the sky and makes soft webs for those that are troubled to rest upon and be supported by. Oh, that's beautiful. Spider's web can be seen as a symbol of, as a symbol of connection, not necessarily entrapment. There is a fine line sometimes between a family or a community supporting us and controlling us. This card looks at this discernment. It also suggests you review the way that you communicate with the wider community, at work or generally with others, and take steps to improve this or do it slightly different. It also indicates that there needs to be a balance between what you do for yourself and what you do for others. If we give too much to the outside, our strength diminishes and we cannot weave the supporting web for ourselves. Nice. Very, very nice. How can you impre improve these webs of communication with your community and with yourself? Comment in the comment section below if you feel inclined to. And I'll see you for our next Halloween read.